Some disturbing numbers out tonight on veterans and their mental health. Vets living here in Oklahoma are killing themselves twice as often as the civilian population. That's the data compiled by Oklahoma Watch. Two News anchor Stephen Romo live tonight with how Senator Tom Coburn's retirement is actually clearing the way for a new bill that offers help. Now, over the past decade or so, veteran suicides in Oklahoma increased by about 30 percent. Now, politicians in Washington not able to find common ground on much, but this bill passing unanimously and the delay up to now was centered here in Oklahoma. Veteran suicides, an issue hitting close to home. Like this incident at an East Tulsa Quick Trip, veteran Nathan Boyd called a helpline and reportedly told a counselor he wanted to commit suicide by cop late last year. When an officer approached him, he says Boyd flashed two realistic looking pellet guns and the officer fired at him. Boyd's wife speaking about his struggle. Something just snapped and he just kind of fell apart. Boyd survived and sought treatment, but many other veterans do not. All I wanted him to do was get help because he's not a bad person. He's a good person. He just needs some help. Our veterans deserve the very best. Former Senator Tom Coburn speaking passionately about the problem of veterans committing suicide. Despite his sentiment, he stood as virtually the only elected official stopping the Clay Hunt Suicide Prevention Act, which is co-sponsored by the other U.S. Senator from Oklahoma, Jim Inhofe. Coburn's reasoning came down to funding. He said the bill was not offset by spending cuts and also duplicated some other VA services. Inhofe releasing a statement on its passage now that Coburn's retired, saying it is our duty to honor the promises made to our veterans in return for their sacrifices. Local veterans groups say this bill offers hope. And what's a life worth? What's, you know, what's uh, several lives worth a year if we can, we can get, reach out and help those veterans? A lot of veterans agreeing on this here at American Legion Post 1. Also, it's passing in the House and Senate unanimously. The president is expected to sign it into law. This bill creates uh, new psychiatric uh, incentives for psychiatrists to work with the VA. It also funds programs aimed at helping veterans. Reporting live, Stephen Romo, 2 News Works for You.